Hello, in this mobile how-to video, I'm walking you through the email settings on the Sony Xperia M2. So let's go ahead and fire up the email client. Once we're in there, we go to the top right hand corner and then we tap that and then we tap settings. So I have to choose general settings. Once I'm in general, I have a variety of options that pop up. So auto advance, select which screen to show after action to an email. I'm going to just go back to the email list a newer email or older email. Email list is probably the best one. So I'm happy with that selection. I can choose the email text size, auto fit messages, so adjust my messages to fit the screen. I highly recommend that. It saves having to move around an email with your finger, which can easily make you get lost or you know just confuse you in some way, shape or form. Restore for show pictures. Restore default for all senders. Do not show pictures automatically. Set email list view, sender above subject. I can go ahead and change that and put the subject above the sender. I always prefer sender above subject, so I'm just gonna leave that as it is. Message preview, so how many rows of the email would I like to see? I'm gonna just leave it at one, just in case somebody can see emails on my phone. You know, If I leave it on a desk and I, I've got private information, I wanna limit what they can see. If I wanted to totally limit what they can see, I can have none but I also want to get a rough idea myself of what's in the email. One row is enough for me, let's go ahead and tap cancel. Delete confirmation, would I like a confirmation before deleting? Yes I would, I have a lot of information that I can't lose so I've got to confirm it before it's deleting. If it's just a personal email and deleting some it's not that important to you, then go ahead and tap off. As I said, I'll leave it on. Swipe to organize or delete. So if you've got an email in front of you, would you like to swipe across to delete the email? If so, leave that ticked. If not, just go ahead and untick it. Preview pane, that's currently off. Show checkbox in mail list, that's currently on. And if I wanted to, I can clear my email history, clear history of sent and received email addresses. If I go back, I can also select certain settings and view settings for the email based upon the account. So I've gone into my Orange Fox Media account. I can change the account name, change my name. I can even go ahead and add a signature, which I might want to do at a later date. I can add quick replies. So edit text that you frequently use when composing email messages. Do I want this to be my default account? I can untick that if I don't want it to be. However, I only have one account and this is always gonna take priority. So default account will stay ticked. I can also decide how long I want, how many times I'd like my email account checked. So it's currently every single hour, my phone is gonna go onto the internet and search for fresh emails for me. Now, if you're gonna have it every hour, then I do recommend that you have a decent amount of data. So, you know, if you've, if you've got an unlimited data plan with your network, that's fine. But if you're limited to 250 megabyte, I recommend having it set to manual as you might find that that costs you in the long run. Now, let's just go back. Pre-download emails, download entire emails before they're opened. Again, if you've limited to data, don't have that turned on. But if you're constantly on Wi-Fi, plus you've got a, a couple of gig, then Go ahead and have that. Email notifications, do you want to be notified in the status bar when emails arrive? I leave that selected as well. I like new emails, it's just something that bugs me. Select ringtone so I can have sort of a, a message tone to let me know that, I'll, that I've got uh, an email. Would I like it to vibrate? Have a notification light as well. I can also change my server settings. I recommend not touching them as you might find that afterwards your email doesn't work. And last but not least is delete the account. So the ability to totally delete your email account from your Xperia M2. That's just a quick look at the settings for the email client on Sony's Xperia M2.